my inspiration always comes from classic work and then it's taken forward to be more advanced, more creative. But I always go back to what is beautiful and what is, is on the classical vintage lines and then move it forward. I never go so far forward that it doesn't mean anything. So these are all based on the fundamental work. They're based on good shapes from the past 70s, 50s, 60s. I, I go on all the decades, 80s, I love all of them. Um, and this year what I really wanted to do was to put some very strong shapes in, but um, at the same time make them wearable. So a little bit of softness in them. Okay, let's, let's take for example this one. Beautiful. Uh, Kimberly. Kimberly started as a bob and then turn around darling. Then I decided to make something a little bit more dramatic, so I took this a little bit shorter. She has such a beautiful skin tone, she has such a beautiful face, I thought I'd give her more face. That's what I could see. So this was a strong shape. Then, once this was done, I could see the model was still quite adventurous. She still wanted more. So then we, I thought, well, you know what? If she wants it, let's do it. And I took her further to make her even more dramatic. But I don't like to make somebody look like a spectacle. Like everyone's going to say, oh my God, look at her. If she doesn't like it, if she's at her grandma's or her auntie's house, you get rid of it, it's gone, okay? So for me, it's about being subtle, but being, but being brave, you know? And, and that's how that one works. This one, it was beautifully curly and then I brushed it and I, 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 I frizzed it and all of a sudden it became much, much more. Then I could see I could cut shapes into it. And then I, on the other side, you can see the other side, both keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. See through here, by leaving a piece out, keep turning, keep turning. By leaving a piece out, it leaves possibility to have something that you maybe you haven't done before, rather than just cut it. Don't cut it, leave it, see what happens. And then here, my geometry, I love my geometry, but then at the same time, there are layers in it so that if she wants to wear it messy, she can wear it messy because she needs a, she needs a choice. I don't like to give somebody something and they have to have it. She can play with it. The reason I went into education is because I believe that hairdressing is a craft. We're not artists, we, we're not able to be flamboyant, we're not able to just be irresponsible. It's a craft, it's a skill. I found that over the last 30 years of my, of my career, back 33 years, the more you develop your skill, the better you can do things, the better things look. This has worked for me in my company. I have 24 salons because they do great work. And for me, we have to go back to go forward because not everybody can quickly become a good hairdresser. They need to work, they need to practice. They need to work, they need to practice again. You know, and then we, we keep our skill level up and then we can move forward. The, fund, the fundamentals, the basics, the classics, whatever you want to call them, is absolutely essential. Because if you do a haircut that doesn't have the fundamental or the basic way of doing things, the next day will look terrible, the next week it will look terrible. That's not what hairdressing is about. We're about being top designers, not about being cheap, off the peg, something that lasts two washes and it's finished. It has to last the whole time, so it has to have quality.